it's like it's only 1.5 by yeah. 2040, meaning we still have 15 years. But if we have overestimated or accurately estimated, that mm. could have been accelerated the actions that yeah. different yeah. governments would take. Yeah, well, I mean, for for example, I mean, at Paris and in the International Policy Making uh, Fora, they keep on mm -hmm. saying net zero by 2050. And that was based on the models which said we'd have 1.5 by 2040. 40. Mm. Now we've got 1.5 by 2025, 15 years early. So yeah. if they were saying net zero 2050, logically, they to, today they should be saying net zero 2035 because we've lost 15 years out of the system, but they yeah. don't. So yeah. this is the disconnection between science and politics. I mean, I guess the other thing is about risk. For example, I mean, it's really clear, and some of the world's leading scientists say we are heading. If we get to three degrees, we're heading towards civilization or collapse. Yeah. I mean, this is this is not rocket science, and that means it's what we many years ago called an existential risk. That is a risk that won't it won't end humanity, but it will destroy the global and national and regional social and economic systems and systems of cooperation that make the world possible as it is today. And in any risk management system, uh, if the risks are existential, you must look at the plausible worst case scenario yes. and stop it. Yeah, I true. mean, that's what we did. True. That's what we did with nuclear weapons. I mean, yeah. in a way, that's what we did with COVID. Um, that's if, what insurance uh, companies do, right? That's what, that's what insurance companies do. I mean, I mean, if we were to if we were to walk in onto an aeroplane or into a lift or yeah. over a bridge and they said, oh, there's a th 10 or 20 or 30 percent chance of it collapsing. You go, no. Yeah, I want, I want a 0.01% chance of yeah. this. And so, I mean, the the IPCC report in 2018 said 1.5 could be basically be between the late 2020s and 2055 or something, the midpoint's 2040. Mm. And everybody said 2040. But what they should have said, the plausible worst case scenario is the late 20s, and that's what we should base it on. I yeah, mean, exactly. I mean, people won't put their children on a swing if there's a 10% chance of it collapsing. Yeah, absolutely. But those same people will adopt a carbon budget, which yeah. have a 50 or a 33% chance of exceeding a bad number. 